Hello, and welcome once again to the Vinton Furnace State Forest. Today I'd like to introduce you to Big Tooth Aspen. Big Tooth Aspen is Populus grandidentata. Populus is the genus which includes the cottonwoods and the aspens, and grandidentata translates to big teeth. Um, it's a relatively short-lived species. It's what we call an early successional species in that it has very light seeds that are wind-blown and can travel great distances. And if they find a bare piece of ground and get plenty of light, they can grow very fast, very tall, but they don't live very long. Um, Big Tooth Aspen is also clonal, so it's not uncommon that several large stems share a root system. And if you look around me, several of the stems, or most of the stems in this general area, are also Big Tooth Aspen. Um, its cousin, the quaking aspen, is known because it has some of the largest individual living organisms on Earth because whole mountainsides happen to share common root systems. But like its cousin, the quaking aspen, the big tooth aspen, has a flattened petiole. So the stalk on a leaf is called a petiole, and when you look at the uh, stalk of a, an aspen or a populus, they tend to be flat. So think of a noodle instead of spaghetti. You can't roll them easily between your fingers. You have to really work at it. But if I take this red maple leaf, it rolls very easily. Or if I take a leaf of a white oak, the petiole rolls between my fingers. But the aspen petioles are flattened, so they don't roll very easily. They have edges, they're very flat. And because that petiole is very flat, they're very flimsy. And the quaking aspen and the big tooth aspen, and even the cottonwood to some extent, will blow or move around with almost no wind. So if you get just a very slight wind, or even just heat rising on a very hot summer day, you'll see the leaves move and tremble or shake. The other thing that distinguishes this from the other aspens and the, the cottonwood, it's more of a rounded leaf, but very large teeth. Uh, the cottonwood would be more triangular, have a very flat base, and then the uh, quaking aspen has very fine teeth. Um, big tooth aspen is probably more common in the southern part of the state where quaking aspen is probably a little bit more common in the northern part of the state. The range maps show uh, quaking aspen down here in southern Ohio, but I rarely see them, if ever, see them down here in the southern part of the state. Fairly long petiole, can be almost three inches in length, and again it's flattened. The leaf blade is more rounded. Um, it says up to five inches in length, but I rarely see them much more than three. In fact, three is probably a good average. They tend to turn bright yellow in the fall, and the crowns can be glorious and bright yellow. There's a few aspens out here that are hanging on to their leaves, but most of them have hit the ground by now. Um, if you look at the twigs, nothing really exciting about them. Um, the, especially the terminal bud seems to be a little bit silvery, especially the scales towards the base or a little bit hairy. Um, and then the tip may have a reddish color, reddish brown twig. Um, that's a pretty decent ID characteristic. Um, if you look at the Eastern Cottonwood, they'll have a much longer kind of a sticky resinous bud where these are short, somewhat silvery, hairy. And then the bark is deep furrowed on a large tree like this. And as um, on a smaller tree, you'll often pick up a diamond pattern in the bark. And I'll show you on a smaller stem what that looks like. But you'll tend to have these little diamonds that'll split and they're not as apparent on this larger tree. And then as we look up into the crown of these aspens, they tend to self-prove fairly well. They tend to be light, kind of a, a tannish or even a whitish color up high, and some people confuse these with birch. But again, this is big tooth aspen, a relatively short-lived tree that we see fairly commonly, especially in areas that have been disturbed in the past. Again, thank you, and please take part of your day to spend it in the woods.